joined once again by head women's soccer coach Derek Failer and coach a little different weekend or week of preparation you guys are going to get on a plane and head out west for two games at uh, Wyoming Air Force it's your kind of some quick thoughts about this week I think the, this this trip is really about managing the details of the travel you know it's 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 altitude games it's our first big road trip of the year with with some underclassmen it's playing opponents we've never seen before so from that perspective I think we're, we're trying to prepare ourselves for a lot of different things I think it sets us up really well for some of the longer league games later on in the year. We kind of talked about about this after the game on Sunday, but the, you kind of mentioned with the altitude change and everything. Just talk a little bit about if there's going to be any kind of different challenge playing in in that, or if there's been preparation made, you know, throughout the preseason training. Yeah, yeah, sure. There's going to be some differences. I don't know that we know what those are, to be honest. I mean, everybody tells you, yeah, we played at altitude, and you know, don't go up to Pikes Peak, and, and make sure you stay hydrated, and all those things. But I think until you're actually in the game and you're, you know, 75 minutes in. I don't know that the players know what that feels like. My guess is that Friday is fairly manageable, and we may not see a whole lot of issues there. I think Sunday is going to be the, re- the interesting day of how do we come back and, and recover from this. And uh, both opponents are you know high pressure, hard working teams, and, and so that's we're going to have to be able to handle that. I, I don't know that we change what we do, other than we just need to be able to keep the ball better and you know play as a group and transition up and down the field together, so things don't get strung out. Kind of had some some ups and downs in, in goal this year with the goalkeeper. You got Becky Williams. You know, the last two games against Bowling Green. I know you just talk about how she's come in. You know, over the last two weeks and the progress she's made, and including the shutout against OU on Sunday. I think at this point, at least she knows everybody's name. That's a good step. Um, yeah, I think it was a hard position for us as a program. It was certainly can't be easy for her coming. You know, almost literally off the street. Um, she's blended well. She's, she's really good people. She works hard. I mean, she's somebody we wish we could have been doing this for four years with. Um, I think the team is, is accepting. You know, it hasn't, we haven't been consistent in that position all year yet. So there's been a lot of communication that we've had to work on. And I think some of our goals against have resulted in that early on. Um, this weekend, I thought, was, was really good stuff out of her, though. Nice to see a shutout in her second game. Thanks again, Coach. Good luck this weekend out at Wyoming and Air Force. Thank you.